What's going on everyone and welcome back to Minion Simulator where today I'm going to be spelling the T and show you guys only some of the things to look forward to for the next update because it is a massive one. I was most likely given only 20% of what's to come in the next update. All will be revealed shortly and there's a lot of exciting more stuff to come. And speaking of excitement, I was actually asked to recently join one of Nixie's awesome giveaways. What Nixie does from time to time is she has these contests and stuff that she does randomly on Discord or maybe even even randomly in game and she gives away huges and in this case she asked me to go hide somewhere on the trading plaza and ask people to do this she said hi all find Deji he is hiding in a trading server to win a huge mask that's a big deal that is a huge dragon mask they are not easy to come by and what Chase did recently is he sold a lot of those dragon masks for like 90 million each so the value of dragon masks are no longer 125 million they went down to 105, 110. They're hovering around that category. And as you guys can see here, Nixie gave me two of them. Two of them to give away. That's like basically giving 110 million. The current value is 110 million. It might go up to 125 like it used to be, but that is a lot, a lot. And guys, it is not easy to get gold, especially not now. It didn't take too long until someone found me and yeah, you know, it's really difficult to hide in a trading plaza, but someone, no pun intended, that's their name, someone found me, and Mal was so, so close, unlucky Mal, but huge congrats once again to someone. I looked at their name and it said Queen of Cookies, if I'm not mistaken, that's their name, and congrats to them. The huge is from Nixie, so thank you so much for your kindness, Nixie. That's not an easy task to do, to give away huges. As consistently as she does, that's a big deal. Now, besides the fun that we had here, I had an opportunity to meet Deathroll. Deathroll is one of the viewers, one of you guys. If you guys see me in game anytime, just stop by, say hi. I'd love to meet you guys. And look at these. You got the VIP Ks, you got those buddy tools on the back, and the huge Marty and the huge robot. Now moving on to the next part, oh my, oh my god, what the heck, what is that, what, how many huge mages are those, what, what, oh my gosh, I forgot, I forgot what I was doing, <laughs> I forgot what I was doing here, what am I doing, <laughs> a giveaway, what giveaway, six huge mages, three huge newt notes, one of those newt notes is a lightning, it's insane, but here's what happened in round two. What Nixie did is she said this on Discord. Okay, round two, come to Trading Plaza with Deji, Chase, and I. Pick a number between one and 50. Whoever gets the correct number wins a mask. That's basically it. You might think that this is gonna be a boring process. A lot of people are just gonna have a bunch of numbers on the screen. I'm just gonna talk about gibberish stuff and we're just gonna pass some time. But no, the funny thing is that Roblox has a really bad chat system that it's so unreliable and does these hashtags on even numbers, just numbers in general. I don't know, maybe it thinks that people are giving out their ages, I don't know, but it does these hashtags on the silliest stuff and people are struggling. And in this case, a lot of people were struggling, but eventually someone kind of got it right. I was going up there to make sure if someone did get it right. And Mal said 49. And what Chase later on said is that Mal won because the number that came to mind is 49 and Mal said that. But look at that, Asian, Asian Nathan, they wrote 49 right after Mal actually typed the numbers 49, which is unfortunate for them. They said that they said it before and it was tagged on Roblox, but that's the chat system for you. It's just unreliable. Huge congrats to Mal for winning this and it's still not the same in chat but there's like 150 huge, huge dragon masks in my inventory maybe. You know, I'm not gonna look through all of them to be exact. I should have maybe kind of locked all my inventory, but I didn't think this through. But look at this, guys. Look at this. I can't stop looking at it. The likely huge, those huge mages. Six huge mages. I don't think, I've seen maybe someone with three of them, and that has to be maybe Chase. But look at this. There are six of them. That's insane. And besides that, they all have those, look at the axes, they actually, they actually suit the mages, they suit them perfectly. And I just wanted to say thank you once again to Nixie for doing this, this is amazing, this is a lot of fun, maybe we're gonna do some stuff in the future, hopefully sometime soon, 
who knows but let's get into the next topic guys because we have to talk about this next update the next update guys if you don't have any access to discord then i'm going to show you guys what was posted on discord for everyone to see and then besides that i'm going to show you what i have that not everyone has so basically what we got is this this is going to show us that you can have multiple minions and you can just have them auto roll those pickaxes so you don't have to stay and do them like one at a time it just takes forever so this is a huge thing this is a huge deal to me this helps me out a lot i'm so far behind on these pickaxes i just really really need to work on them and i can't wait to do that soon enough that's the first sneak that we got the second one is this we got the fantasy islands that's what i'm gonna call it and as you guys can see, we got five floating islands. This is the biggest map so far. I don't think there's any other worlds out there in the game that's as big as this. There are five different islands and they're floating around. What I think is maybe each island is gonna feature something major in this part of the world. But one thing that we have is this picture here. There's a lot of stuff in this picture, but one thing that I wanna point out is this guy here. This is Zambi, the developer. And you know how every story has to have their hero and the person who is like the savior, the person who saves the day? This person has saved Minion Simulator and is working so hard in doing that. Can't wait for the future updates. But one thing to notice about this picture is the Minion Bank is here. It is gonna be released on the next update that is crazy imagine that you don't have to have a second or third or fourth account to store your minions if you have a lot of extra stuff you can just upgrade this and have those in the bank i am extremely excited about this and the fact that there's no coming soon on top of this means that it's definitely coming soon on the next update now here we have the portals that are going to be just the portals for the different zones and that's where they're going to have the chest on there but yeah, this is an awesome world. Imagine this is going to have that huge Tron conversion that you can take, just like Pet Simulator X, you can take your minions and make them into huges. You have some other machines. You got the Colossal that is now renamed to Titanic, where you can take, most likely you're going to take your huges and make them into Titanics. I'm not sure if that's going to be the case. Only speculation at this point, but let's have a look at the minions themselves. This is the first minion, and I gotta say these minions are actually well detailed. Like usually, like look at the hair. The hair, I don't know why I feel like the hair is much, much different than it used to be. It's more like cartoony than it used to be before, but that's the first one. The next one is this guy. I like the way this one looks, especially with those awesome sideburns, <laughs> but it kind of like looks like the DJ minion with, those, with that mouth, that smile. That's the second one that we're getting. This one, I don't know what to say about this. Kind of looks like, I don't know, is it a princess, a queen? Who knows? The next one is definitely interesting because if you are a fan of Minecraft and you play that game, then you're going to know that this pet is inspired by the same villager on Minecraft. So most likely it's going to be called a villager as well. When I saw it, I thought it was going to be like Friar Tuck or something, maybe a priest, but it's not. This one is most likely the brand new secret pet. I don't think this is a huge. A lot of people thought that maybe this is gonna be a huge. I don't think that's the case. Maybe, I'm really hoping that it is. I'm so sick and tired of seeing humanoid huges. I just wish I could see mythical creatures as huges. Lots of exciting stuff to come. I can't wait to see the brand new update. Can't wait to see the brand new features as well and the coming soon stuff. There's gotta be a lot of stuff that are coming soon or a lot of maybe machines or concepts that are gonna be displayed that just say coming soon on them. I can't wait to see those. And that's the end of today's video, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed that. If you did, it would mean a lot to me if you can leave a like down below. If you haven't subscribed, Ready, please do so that would mean so much more and i hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world and i'll see you all on the next one